Hello and welcome to the Quiver channel. I am Jason, your host. So what's the plan? I'm talking about the plan for the rest of the year. I'm talking about the plan for once all the stuff with my mum's funeral and everything is sorted out. Because yes, we're still sorting things out. Because things like the conveyance of the house into my name, that has to be dealt with and paid for. Um, got the solicitor's bills for the probate stuff. I've got um, paying back friends who helped me out. And I've got basically purchasing some disability equipment. But what's going forward? Now next week I probably won't be doing much on the Quinga because it's supposed to be really hot. There is supposed to be we're supposed to have the last heat wave of the year next week. I think it's coming from I the I Iberian or something. But it's supposed to be next week is supposed to be a major heat wave. And so I'm very careful about I could go out in there and I'll see how it is, but I'm hesitant to leave the house in there. Um and I don't want to leave the dogs alone in that kind of heat. They'll probably be up here and we may run the air conditioning in this room to keep them cool. So that's next week. Um after that I've set aside some money for me to go exploring. I want to go back up to Bentley and have a good explore. I want to wander all the way around there. I sort I did a little going there, but something went wrong with the Quingo. We found out about the issue with the brakes and we had to bring it back. That's all been fixed now and it's in really good condition, so I want to go for a big explore of Bentley and that kind of area of Stoke-on-Trent. And then I want to go to, before the winter settles in, I want to go to Trentham Gardens again and see how the run is on a actual vehicle, using a vehicle. Um, so... I'm going to have to wait to see what finances are like because at the moment finances are very very tight um, I knew that they would be because I am still waiting on funds to be released and I've got mass some big bills to pay so once all that's done all the bits and pieces have been sorted then it's time to start exploring. Now we know that in the, on the Quingo, I can go anywhere within like 25 miles of here. It's got a 50 miles range and I can basically go anywhere within 25 miles because I've got to make it back. So that's a thing. Um, Part of the thing, I'm going to buy a second-hand um, Class 2 mobility scooter so that I can, if I need to, on my own, can go on the train and things like that to go further. And even go on the buses. I'll organise, I have to I have to qualify for a pass. I'll, go through that. I'll have to figure it all out. Um, it just means that I can go further and explore more in the coming months and that which would be really nice we proved that the Quingo is an amazing thing but there's certain things it can't do it can't go inside um, it can't go in a train on a train it can't go on a plane it can't go on a thing on a actual buzz which is understandable so I was going to get a power chair because my doctor said that might be a good idea, but power chairs are very much more expensive, very much more expensive. Um, and they do have limitations if you don't have the money to buy the really good ones. 
and by the really good ones I mean massive amount of money so I can't really go that way but I can get something like a pride my nose is itching my nose is itching I think I'm gonna sneeze you know what that's like when your your brain says you're gonna sneeze and you've got an itchy nose and it's you think you're gonna sneeze but it just won't come in it's not gonna happen so a second hand pride Revo which is a class 2 which will allow me to get on vehicles it's also foldable well not foldable it's all you can take your part so during the winter I'll be able to keep you in the house and it'll also be a backup for my main unit and generally try to make it so I can go further and maybe even go to the middle of um, different places like I might go to Shrewsbury in places like that or all the way to the seaside it might be nice to go to the see the sea I haven't seen the sea for a very long time um, so all these things are possible and that's where I'm going to head towards um, even going to I really probably need to get a yearly pass for Trenton because I do like going there it's a lovely place it very much fits with my brain so these are the, these are just the little plans that I've got um, I want to tweak and sort out the AI in the house and find a way of taking the AI with me when I leave the house after all this is my um, little MiFi when I leave the house on the Quingo this goes in my pocket and when this is in my pocket it my phone automatically switches over to it my phone which means my I've got my audio and that through this through this so in theory I should be able to set up a VPN and talk to my AI wherever I am on my vehicle so I'll be able to take my AI with me and things like that so these are just little bits and pieces of plans and then this 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 is old this was bought this is a 4g not a 5g it's still got enough bandwidth for the stuff we do anyway but this is like how can i put it i think this we had this when paula yeah 2017 and that because the hospital wi-fi back then wasn't very good so she could take this in and we could plug in boost antennas which would mean that she would be able to get a signal while she was in hospital so that was why this was bought and so i'm very happy with this um i may look into a better one but i don't know whether i'll be able to afford it i've got to balance things very very well at the moment but yeah so everything is in the planning stage um now that my quingo has a canopy i'm not worried about the weather of the autumn and the rain in that I, hey i'm happy to go to places like bentley or over to trentham when it's pouring down in rain because my actual quingo keeps me nice and dry i love it so i'd like to say bye bye for now I hope you're all having a wonderful day.